Developmental Biology, Fall 2010. Professor Amanda Dickinson's class. Wind Signaling Canonical Pathway by Sophia Galindo. The Wnt signaling pathway regulates many cell fate decisions during development of vertebrates and invertebrates. The different processes include but are not limited to cell proliferation, migration, polarity, and differentiation. The Wnt genes found in humans are important for head development, neural tube development, craniofacial growth, and much more. The Activated Wnt Pathway Allow me to show you. The Wnt ligand attaches itself to the receptor frizzled, which must also be attached to the co-receptor LRP. This union activates the connector disheveled. Proteins such as APC noted in blue, TRCP yellow, axin green, GSK3 orange, beta catenin purple, and other proteins such as CK1 alpha make up the destruction complex. The destruction complex is shut down by disheveled. Dun 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 dun. Accumulation of beta catenin occurs first in the cytoplasm, then in the nucleus. Beta catenin interferes with gene expression by binding to TCF and LEF and acts as a transcription factor. <laughs> Addition of a protein that can inhibit any component of the destructive complex can also activate the pathway. The non-activated Wnt pathway. In most human cells, the Wnt pathway is not activated. Wnt does not bind a frizzle, disheveled is not activated, and the destruction complex is not shut down. This allows beta-TRCP and ubiquitin peptides to bind to beta-catenin and direct it to proteasomal degradation. <laughs> TCF and LEF go about transcription without the influence of beta-catenin. <laughs> the end! Yay!